Hello, I'm Claire O'Brien, Director of Chiswick House and Gardens Trust. Chiswick House is behind me, Grade 1 listed Neo Palladium Villa, and we're standing in the beautiful Grade 1 listed gardens of Chiswick House. The house was built in 1727 by Lord Burlington, Richard Boyle, the third Earl of Burlington. He went away on the grand tour and came back totally transported by the designs of Palladio, the architect of a hundred years previously, and the beautiful classical architecture of ancient Rome. And he was one of the precursors of transforming the 18th century country house hundred years previously, Inigo Jones and Christopher Wren had begun this movement, but Lord Burlington was very significant for the 18th century. Burlington built Cheswick House in the 1720s, but it was actually after the Dukes of Devonshire had inherited at the end of the 18th century that it became a particularly um, appropriate place for grand parties. And it was a lady called Georgina, who was the wife of the fifth Duke of Devonshire, who held those grand parties in the grounds here. After building the villa, Lord Burlington began to re-landscape his gardens. And the most important thing that occurred here in these gardens was that they moved from the formal to the informal landscape. These gardens were the first of the English landscape movement, which meant that you would bend the lake, create a serpentine rather than have a straight lake. And based on the neoclassical principles, all the views led to somewhere. One has to imagine the amazing parties that took place in these fabulous grounds. Both Georgina and the 5th Duke of Devonshire and then the 6th Duke, the Bachelor Duke, invited all the grand aristocrats of Europe. Queen Victoria came here on a number of occasions. They'd have great fete galants out here with everyone in their fabulous costumes, musicians playing in different parts of the gardens. So amongst these cedars of Lebanon, which Lord Burlington was one of the first people to plant, and these glades and these lovely vistas, there was also a menagerie of animals. There was an elephant called Sadie, there were lots of deer, there was llamas, there were tropical birds. What is really wonderful about this park and the house is that it's open to so many different people from all the local residents who enjoy coming to walk their dogs here or bring their children and their families to walk and play to the many cultural visitors who come to admire the architecture of the house and look at the beautiful gardens to the people who come and are married here in the summer or attend our opera evenings, our cinema evenings. There is so much more this estate has to offer and I very much look forward to everyone coming back to enjoy it. Thank you.